Now I'd like to show how to make the viewport look even a little bit better. So I'm going to go up here to render and then I'm going to go to the viewport 2.0 options. And in here, I'm going to open up something called screen space ambient occlusion. And if I open that up and hit enable, you can see that it provides a nice kind of contact shadow. So if I uncheck that, so anytime that something gets close to something, it provides a slight shadow, okay? And then also I can see like there's some, maybe some jagged lines. Um, and if I wanted to clean that up, I could come down here to anti-aliasing and turn this on. And now your, your lines are gonna look even smoother. And if I increase that even more, it's gonna be even smoother yet. Um, so it just makes the viewport look a little bit better. So, now I feel like we can feel pretty good about our scene. And by the way, if your computer starts to slow down because of these things turned on, uh, th these are completely optional. Um, you can always turn them off, but I feel like why I like to turn this one on, at least for a second, is because it would be hard to tell otherwise if the chairs were floating, for example. So you'll see if I have that off, looks like the chairs are on the floor. Um, there's really no way of telling unless we looked at it really close from the side. But as soon as I turn that on, I can see that, that they look like they're floating. So that's why I'll bring this up until they touch. And now I can tell that they're touching and we're good. So um, excellent job. I hope you learned a lot of different you know, modeling techniques uh, with this little exercise here. And um, yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun.